In some situations, paper will always be best for unleashing our creativity. And sometimes we just need technology. Choosing between paper and computer is a matter of context. Today, we can have the best of both worlds. The PUP is the first ever connected pocket scanner. It is mobile, tiny, lightweight, wireless, with a long-lasting battery. The PUP is very simple to use thanks to its unique button. It is smart. It automatically takes care of every step, from your sheet of paper to its destination on the internet. The PUP allows you to stay comfortable where you are without moving around. You don't need to worry about paper dimensions anymore. Your documents are automatically and safely routed where you need them. The PUP is so simple to use. Choose your scenario. Fit the laser to the pages and press the button. That's it. Your document has just been transferred according to your choice. Some artworks matter more than others. They deserve to be saved and shared instantly with your loved ones. The PUP is always ready to go. It is incredibly fast and easy to use. The PUP brings you closer to the ones you love. The PUP can scan everything. It even works with books. It is smart and automatically fixes any reflection or page curve issues. The PUP comes with its own light and does not rely on the ambient lighting. You always get a sharp image. The PUP is your nomad companion. It follows you everywhere. It takes care of everything and lets you focus on what really matters to you. The PUP will bring you new creative scenarios every day. So you can stay up to date with your favorite networks. Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. They can all be reached in one click. It will even help you import your documents into Word and Excel. We are proud to introduce PUPSCAN. We've been working for 18 months with a serious team of engineers and designers. We worked hard. We have created a lot of prototypes to offer you a unique experience and make the scan available to everyone. Thank you for backing us on Indiegogo to make PubScan a reality. I was 13 when I first got access to a, a computer. My parents bought me a, uh, a Macintosh in 1984 when I was eight years old. I was in sixth grade. I learned to code in college. Freshman year, first semester, um, intro to computer science. I wrote a program to play tic-tac-toe. I think it was pretty humble beginnings. I think the first program I wrote asked uh, things like, what's your favorite color? Or how old are you? I first learned how to make a green circle and a red square appear on the screen. The first time I actually had something come up and say, hello world, and it, the, I made a computer do that, it was just astonishing. Learning how to program didn't start off as wanting to learn all of computer science or, um, or trying to master this discipline or anything like that. It just started off because I wanted to do this one simple thing. I wanted to make something that was fun for myself and, and my sisters. And I wrote this little program and then basically just add a little bit to it. And then when I needed to learn something new, I looked it up either in a book or on the internet and then added a little bit to it. It's really not unlike kind of playing an instrument or something or, 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 you know, or playing a sport. It starts out being very intimidating, but you kind of get the hang of it over time. Coding is something that can be learned. And um, I know it can be intimidating. A lot of things are intimidating, but uh, you know, what isn't? A lot of the coding that people do is actually fairly simple. Um, it's, it's more about the process of breaking down problems than uh, you know, sort of coming up with complicated algorithms as people traditionally think about it. You don't have to be a genius to know how to code. You need to be determined. Addition, subtraction, uh, that, that's about it. You should probably know your multiplication tables. <laughs> you don't have to be a genius to code. Do you have to be a genius to read? Even if you want to become a race car driver or play baseball, um, or uh, you know, build a house. All of these things have been turned upside down by software. What it is is, you know, computers are, are everywhere. You want to work in agriculture? <laughs> Do you want to work in entertainment? Do you want to work in manufacturing? You know, it's it's just all over. Here we are, 2013. We all depend on technology to communicate, 
to bank information and none of us know how to read and write code. When I was in school, I was in this after school group called the Whiz Kids. And when people found out, they laughed at me and you know, all these things. And I'm like, man, I don't care. I think it's cool. And you know, I'm learning a lot. And some of my friends have jobs. Our policy is literally to hire as many talented engineers as we can find. The whole limit in the system is just that there just aren't enough people who are trained and have these skills today. To get the very best people, we try to make the office as awesome as possible. We have a fantastic chef. Free food. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Free laundry. Snacks. Even places to play and video games and scooters. There's all these kind of interesting things uh, around the office and places where people can play or relax um, or go to think or play music or be creative. Whether you're trying to make a lot of money or whether you just want to change the world, computer programming is an incredibly empowering skill to learn. I think if someone had told me that software is really about humanity, that it's really about helping people by using computer technology, it would have changed my outlook a lot earlier. To be able to actually come up with an idea and then see it in your hands and then be able to press a button and have it be in millions of people's hands. Uh, I mean, I think we're the first generation in the world that's really ever had that kind of experience. Just to think that I mean, you can start something in you know, your college dorm room and you can have a set of people who haven't built a big company before come together and build something that a billion people use as part of their, their daily lives is, is just crazy to think about, right? It's really, it's humbling and it's amazing. The programmers of tomorrow are the wizards of the future. You know, you're going to look like you have magic powers compared to everybody else. I think it's amazing. It's, I think it's the closest thing we have to a superpower. Great coders are today's rock stars. That's it. Technology makes us increasingly mobile. Yet, there are still a few things holding us back. Power banks, external hard drives, countless adapters, and of course, the chunky chargers. That's what living in a modern life was, until now. This is Line Dock, the world's first device offering a powerful battery, full connectivity, fast SSD storage, and active cooling. All this in a 9mm cable-free shell. The massive internal battery offers up to 1.5 full charge of any USB-C laptop. Simply connect LineDock using a USB-C cable and free yourself from power outlets and chargers. LineDock slides perfectly in your backpack or laptop sleeve. Thanks to quick charge technology, LineDock lets you charge any mobile device faster so that you never run out of battery on the go. Once connected via USB-C or micro-USB, Line offers an integrated SD card reader and up to 512GB of SSD storage. At the office, Line Dock can be used as a true docking station to connect anything to your laptop. Extend your workspace with a dedicated mini display port and connect any external monitor through HDMI. LineDock integrates four wireless charging pads. Just place your smartphone over a pad and let it power up. Our patented Pi First cooling system will actively cool your laptop for increased performance and comfort when you need it the most. 
Instead of carrying a myriad of adapters on a daily basis, LineDock provides everything you need right under your laptop. Its smart format allows for zero square inches loss on your workspace. We've been developing LineDock for over a year using the most advanced technologies and materials. We teamed up with the best engineers to come up with a symbiotic and reliable device. Technology should make life easier. We took a step further with a special attention to design and portability. A single device for a seamless digital experience. Line Duck organizes your day while you organize your thoughts. In 2007, Steve Jobs said that this was the best input device. That was 2007. This is 2015. In 2015, we love our touchscreens. We take them everywhere we go, and why wouldn't we? They're light, they're powerful, and they're gorgeous. But they're not a perfect input device. To fully express ourselves, we need better precision and more space. This is free, and it takes you way beyond the screen. With free, you can write or draw on nearly any surface, and your words or pictures will appear on your screen instantly. Free brings us back to a more direct interaction with the world around us, in part by freeing us to use one of our most personal skills, handwriting. Free's sophisticated optical tracking engine can trace anyone's handwriting on nearly any surface to an incredible level of accuracy. There has never been anything like it. <clears throat> Give us a minute, Mitch. Our Otium sensor includes a miniature laser, which sends a collimated beam to the surface. Reflections from the surface combine with internal reflections to give us emotion signals. In fact, we invented the world's smallest three-dimensional laser interferometer. That is truly amazing. But let me take it from here. Free is all about minimizing whatever stands in the way of your creative energy. It's got a mini touch display for notifications, lets you reply instantly, and even doubles as a headset to take phone calls. Hi, Michael. Write yourself a note the second you think of it. Jot down a phone number or doodle your next brainchild. Your thoughts and ideas are captured instantly on your device. Free lets you use all of your screen, turning your mobile phone into an incredibly comfortable and efficient mobile creative station. And best of all, Free is personal. So personal, it can even use your handwriting as a highly sophisticated form of biometric identification. making it much harder for someone to steal your identity. Free is a minimal and classic design with a unique ergonomic shape so that the touch display naturally faces you and you can simply select different functions. We also have an open platform so developers can create exciting new applications. Together, we can change the way we interact with the digital world for everyone. We put thousands of hours developing our motion tracking engine and now we need your support to build the coolest mobile input device. Help us make free a reality by backing us on Kickstarter. It's quick, it's convenient, it's familiar and personal. It's free. What if it was simple to use a regular pen and paper notebook while saving everything in the cloud? perfectly organized the way you want? And what if after you saved your notes in the cloud and filled your paper notebook, you could just erase it with the push of a button and use it again? That's not magic, that's the Rocketbook Wave Notebook. With the Wave Notebook and the Rocketbook app, you instantly blast your notes into the cloud using your mobile device. In a fraction of a second, Rocketbook Machine Vision scans, enhances, and sends each page to the specific destination they belong on the cloud services you already use. Each Wave Notebook page has seven symbols. Set up the Rocketbook app to assign each symbol to a location within Dropbox, Google Docs, Evernote, or simply to your email inbox. 
let's see how Jake has his set up. He marks the diamond symbol and the Rocketbook app sends the notes to his customer meetings notes in Evernote. When he's brainstorming, he marks the star symbol, which he decided are for the notes that belong in his ideas folder in Google Docs. Now that your notes are in the cloud, when your notebook is filled, there's no need to go buy another book or let used notebooks clutter your life. Here's how you can reuse your Wave notebook multiple times with the mere push of a button. Take your notes using Friction Pilot pens, available in many office supply stores and Amazon.com. Friction Pilot ink turns clear under heat, and the Wave notebook is specially designed to be microwave safe. That means you can clear your entire Wave notebook in your microwave in the same amount of time it takes to make a cup of tea. When our specially designed thermal logo on the cover turns from blue to white, your Wave notebook has been cleared and is ready to be reused. And with your notes in the cloud, an empty notebook has endless possibilities. The utility of the cloud and the joy of pen and paper. That's Rocketbook.